Good morning, Libra. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot. <laughs> I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. So today we are going to see your journey and the paths that you need to take, or the paths that are going to be available for you. All right. This can also be a decision that you need to make about something. Uh, and this can be uh, in the present or in the future. You know? But generally, it's going to tell you the path you're on now and the path that you can choose. All right. So normally, it's two paths, but this is just so you know. Uh, so this is Libra, so Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. All right, not all messages will resonate. So if it's not your story, take what you resonate with and leave the rest behind. All right. So what you got? You got for your path. You're worried. <laughs> right now, you are very worried. You're having sleepless nights. Uh, you're not sure what to do. You're not sure how to approach a situation. All right, now we'll see your first path. Your first path is a king of wands. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, I know that came up also. Or um, you can be dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, someone that really likes to take action and stands in their power in their choices, you know. All right, we'll, we'll see. Let's see the outcome of the situation. Juggling. Yeah, definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. This came out for Virgo. Um, they found out someone was juggling. Um, and so, or like someone got pregnant or something like that um, <laughs> in the reading. If you want to know more about that reading, go check out my Virgo reading. You could also have Virgo in your chart. Um, but uh, yeah. So, someone likes to take action and you're worried someone could find out you are juggling or someone is, or you aren't sure if this person is juggling people. Or if they just have two, like a job and like they have a hard time communicating with you because they're always working. Either way, um, someone's juggling in this situation and you're worried about that. Let's get to the next path. All right. You got the lovers in reverse. All right. So some... It could be a toxic connection in this uh, situation or something just doesn't. It could be an ex-lover that wants to come back to you and they just, they left you out in the cold. And yeah, this could be one big path if you resonate uh, for that. So, uh, for one big path, I would say this King of Wands was juggling. You know, they were very toxic towards you, and they left you out in the cold. Or you left them out in the cold because you found out they were juggling. All right? And for two separate paths, you got someone juggling. Um, King of Wands could be the one juggling. Or it could be you, whichever your story is. Um, and then you got this, uh, the lovers in reverse. So a toxic connection, something that wasn't working for you guys. Um, and you let something go. You are no longer feeling uh, like you're left out in the cold. Or you left them out in the cold. And yeah. All right. 
So let's clarify the situation. All right. Let's clarify it. So clarify the two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. Queen of Swords reverse. The Knight of Cups. All right. So someone could have been offering you an emotional cup, like some something with a lot of emotion. Maybe you weren't getting enough emotion towards this King of Wands. Like they just, they weren't, I don't know, they weren't emotional enough for you. And, or maybe they just got out of a relationship and they're coming towards you, or you think they got out of a relationship, but you're not sure. And that's why you think that they're juggling. And you see them offering you something and you're like, you just, didn't you just, weren't you just with that girl like 10 minutes ago? Like, you're already offering me your cup? Uh, you're... Uh, I would be... Uh, I, you're right to feel worried about this. Like, it's... Uh, like, I would be a little scared. Like, if someone just came to me and was like, Yeah, you, you want to hook up or you want to just go out? Like... Even though I just seen them like break up with someone, like that tells me that they're not emotionally there and like that they need to really, they need to heal before they just jump into another relationship. Like they still haven't gotten over their past person. They literally just broke up five minutes ago. Like, <laughs> like it, it's like, what what just happened all right so on this side you got the queen of wands reversed so it could be dealing with a leo a sagittarius just fire sign fire energy all around the board so no matter which libra we are talking about you are dealing with a fire sign <laughs> all right yeah you're coming to a decision about this that it's not worth the connection's not worth it all right your ex isn't worth going back to all right so which are you gonna choose libra is it going to be your ex or is it going to be this fire sign Your ex could be more feminine than masculine if you are a female. Um, and on the other side, you're, it could be that it could be a female, but they, I feel like it's more of a male that is kind of feminine, but like is a little bit more masculine than your ex. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's just what I feel. Energy is we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. So and energy is fluid, so it can be anything, anything that surrounds them or surrounds you. Um let's pull some advice cards, all right? So you have a the death card at the bottom of the deck so you could be going through a rebirth at this time um or just like a change a change in cycles a change in like, like something's changing in your life something about you something about the situation just something is changing okay
you're going through a lot of change, which is good. Change is good. We are constantly changing every day. Every day we change. Each and every day we are a different person. We may, we may not actually see it, but we are. We don't see our growth. Other people see our growth. Other people that have known us for a while may be like, wow, he is so different. Like, he's not the person he was, like, five months ago, you know? They're not the person they were five months ago. You know, that They think, like, that's insane. Like, how can you not be that person? Like, But it's true. You can change. So, the answers you need are coming. Be whole... Be... <laughs> Be bold, make the first move. All right. So it could be you wanting to offer your cup, cup of love to this person because you figured they just got out of a relationship um, and it'd be, it'd be good. It could be. But you also got to make sure they're not in a relationship because they could be juggling, possibly. Or you're just worried about that. Either way. So for the other side, you got bring love into the situation. Yeah. If this is an ex that's really like coming back to you, tell them how you feel. Tell them that you don't feel the same way. That you don't see a spark there anymore. You just, there's nothing there. What are you going to do? You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It's time to release the negativity, yes, release your ex. Also, there is a lot of purple on this side of the board. Uh, you could be listening to your intuition uh, at this moment, like very, uh, and you could be very intuitive, um, but that is also uh, the purple represents uh, the crown chakra, the third eye, you know, whatever color. It's like blue, purple, indigo. I have it right here, but it's like, eh, it's kind of iffy. <laughs> um, let me show you the cards. And on that side, it's more like blue, like pink. Pink can represent like heart chakra or root chakra, you know, but mostly heart chakra just because uh, pink represents love and yeah. Also, on this side, I would say communication is key. That is another uh, Gemini card that I have. It's the new moon in Gemini. Uh, I don't know why. I was just I was feeling like I needed to say that. All right. So that's going to be the messages for today. I hope you guys resonated uh, with this video and if uh, and like this video. Uh, if, and if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and namaste.